Your boy Tony G, Big Lou, another Tuesday night. Big Lou, what's going on? Man, doing good, doing good. A lot of football this weekend. A lot, I mean, a lot of sports this weekend. Baseball, of, we got the yep. fight, football. Had a lot of uh had a lot of sports action going on. We got Pacquiao, he lost um in a, in a decision. Mm-hmm. Big time. A division world champion. Um, they're saying, I mean, he's 40, 42, saying it might be, you know, I mean, it might be time. You don't know. I, I was, you know, they switched the fight. He was supposed, he was supposed to fight Spence in Dallas. Um, and right two weeks prior, Spence said he had a, a torn red now. Yeah. So this guy who also is a champ, he took it out two weeks notice and he came in and he, uh, I mean, it was a good fight. It wasn't. Like he just beat Pacquiao on the, in the ground, right. but he definitely beat him. Yeah, he beat um, him by decision, but it was definitely a brawl. It was, it was a good. Yeah, fight. It definitely was. It was, it was definitely, um, definitely, definitely was. They uh, out in Vegas, so yeah, that um, was a good. Trying to find, get my info. Um, thought I used a habit right here, but I guess I did. Yeah. And, they also had um, some great undercards. They had some great undercards in the fight. It was packed, you know, packed out house. Um, so definitely, that was cool. Uh, Miguel Cabrero for uh, Detroit hit a 500, hit his 500th home run what, yeah. this weekend. Yeah. And how many? How many people do you think are in that 500 plus club? Oh man. Uh... Not many, not that, not many in the five hundred club, are they? Because no, they, 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 they are, because they're not counting our guys from, you know, from the, are they, no, are they count, are they counting guys from that from the steroid era too? Oh yeah, they're counting everybody. Okay, good, good. Well, 100, but it's still like, it's still a small minutes. number, right? Yeah, it still is. It actually, it, the number's twenty eight. Twenty eight in uh, hundred and forty years. 140 100 years, years and only 28 like years. They've had over 500 our 500 home runs. Wow, that's that's amazing. So that's that's a that's that's an incredible feat when you become a part of that club. That's an elite membership. But can, you know, kudos to Miguel Cabrera, man. Uh, congratulations to him. Kudos to him, man. And he does, you know, he does work when he gets up to that plate. So you know, congrats to him and 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 you know. Oh, they definitely, definitely, definitely. That was um, so I watched a lot of football, that's mm-hmm. for sure. Um, I watched the Kansas City game. They, I thought they played, uh, I thought they played uh, Mahomes longer than I thought they would. I, I was kind of surprised, yeah, I was kind of surprised. Like, they were really, they were really kind of wanting to see, let him uh, stretch it out a little bit, yeah. Uh, their, their line, their offensive line. I mean, you know, the, everybody gets so riled up about um, preseason, but you know, it's just kind of test and tune. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just that's all it is. I mean, they're trying to see how people react under certain situations. Um, but Kansas City, did you watch any of that game? Yes, I did, and uh, it was, it, you know, it was a good game. Uh, I think everybody, like we said last week. You know, dial back on some of these quarterbacks a little bit. Trey Lance looked like he just got into the NFL a little bit. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. And uh, and also, uh, I listened to uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, doing one of his pressers, and he was talking about, you know, as far as like working inside the pocket as opposed to running out and. Right. I saw an example of that on a play when, as a matter of fact, it was the play he threw the interception. If he had a slid up, he would have had his receiver open for the touchdown uh, to his left. But he rolled to the right and tried to hit the guy and threw an interception. But that's one of the things he was talking about that he wanted to work on, you know, being more, 
you know, more agile in that pocket area as opposed to, you know, scrambling out or running out and extending the play in that nature. So uh, I, but I, um, I, I get where he's coming from, you know, because I, I saw it biggest day. I was like, he had a guy right there. And I'm pretty sure he, and uh, I'm pretty sure he saw that too, because I kind of seen the look on his face, you know, after he threw the interception. But uh, yeah, but. You know, it's, you know, it's funny, um, Big Lou is, so the difference to me with Mahomes than other quarterbacks that, that, that run like him, mm -hmm. his arm is superior. I mean, he literally, he literally he can go, hey, could you hit the lady up there with the red shirt? With the, okay, I got her. You know, I mean, he is, yeah. mm -hmm. he, he has, uh, I mean, he really could have been, in a, he could have had a pitching career. I mean, there's no doubt. His arm is, is that strong. I was listening to Terry Bradshaw talk about him and his arm strength. Mm -hmm. Did you see some of the throws that he makes? I mean, he's, it's like putting, you know, thread through a needle. I mean, it's yes. just like, wow, they, that just happened. And he has the speed and the control and the power to do that. So that mm -hmm. kind of, and you know, what makes him so great is that, you know, if somebody once told me, it's not about you making mistakes, it's about you being smart enough to know that you did make a mistake and you're going to improve on it. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people make mistakes or whatever, and they don't even see it. Like, oh, that was wrong. And so the great thing about him, you know, Pat, I mean, he – he, he he knows where he needs to work on, and that's what the great ones do. Yeah, it was that was an interesting. I mean, that was a. Uh, I mean, that was a good. I mean, I thought that was a good game. I, like they played. Uh, they kept him in a lot longer than I thought. They kept that line in, the front offensive line in for like three quarters. Yeah, I was very shocked about that, but I guess they needed to work. But I was very shocked about that that they you know. They kept them in as long as they did in that game. I agree. I, I definitely, I definitely agree. I was, I was very, very surprised. Um, did you notice? I mean, Dave, did you notice anything about their offensive line? Anything particular? There's something I'm looking for. Is there anything particular that you happen to notice that you said that's odd? Well, um, I had to reflect because you know I, I, I. I I was watching so much, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I should have paid more. I should have paid more attention to it, but I didn't pick up. I didn't pick up on it. You got to enlighten me on it. I'm a, I am. Well, it was pointed out to me. It wasn't like I saw it. <laughs> okay. All right. Their center is left-handed. Wow. See, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't notice it. Yeah. I watched the whole that's, game. I didn't notice yeah. that. That's a, you know, that's a rarity. Yeah. Their left-handed center is very rare. Yeah. And he, had, yeah. he has a left-handed center. And you know the only other – name all the left-handed uh, quarterbacks in the league. Left-handed quarterbacks. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, was Jeff George left-handed? No, that's playing now. That's playing now. That's, play, that's playing now. That's even played in, like, the last – We'll say the last four years. Last four years. Who up there trying to think who's left handed? This one. Tua. Tua. The last two. When, 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 Michael, when Michael Vicks left, there was no more left handed quarterbacks until Tua came in the league. Yeah. Well, and he was what I was going to say, but he, <laughs> yeah. he's been out of the league. Yeah, yeah. It's just what that is. Tua. Yeah. I watched yeah. a little bit. I didn't watch much of the Miami game. I watched a little bit, though. I watched a little bit of it. I caught I caught a little bit of it, but I didn't watch that much of it. But yeah, and I believe that's probably that may be a reason why Kansas City left the line in because he's left-handed. So they got to get yeah. used. They got to get used to you know that left hand snapping in. Because it's different. Because I've yeah. listened to interviews with, with Jerry Rice when he talked about uh, when Montana left and. Um, and you, uh, not young. Yeah, Young came in. He was left-handed. He puts yeah. a different spin on it. He goes, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal because the ball cut. He goes, but once you get, you know, once you go, oh, I'm going to take it here or I'm going to take it here, he said it is a difference between a left-handed left, left and a right-handed quarterback because they put the ball with a different spin, right. uh, which was kind of, you know, very interesting uh, to listen to. Uh, but, yeah, that game was um, – 
the, the Chiefs and the Cardinals, the game was cool. Um, talking about Miami, I don't know what it is about Tua. I like Tua, but the critics seem to be hard on him. You know what I mean? They're just not – I mean, I don't know what they want him to carry Miami to the Super Bowl on his back. I don't know exactly. I mean – I I um I think it's uh the the right now society has a little bit to do with it you know it, because and then because a uh, uh, a lot of the quarterbacks you know that come out are a little I, I'm not gonna say they're NFL ready but they 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 get it or they or they pick it up or I'm not sure well I'm not gonna say I'm not sure I'll say this because of the fact that a lot of these coaches run a college style offense or it caters to the college. You know, some of these quarterbacks pick up on it a little bit quicker than others. I think that Tua is one of those guys that like Aaron Rodgers needs to sit and just visual, you know, he needs to sit and just visualize the game, but he's, he's played. Yeah. So he knows the speed. I think, Miami needs to be a little, you know, I mean, like the Jets, they've had some quarterback carousel issues going. They had some pretty good guys. You know, Fitzpatrick was doing his thing down there, but that's Fitz magic. That's what you get. Ryan Tannehill, too, it was just, you know, they didn't have the organization. They didn't have everything right. No, now no line. You, yeah, yeah, they didn't have anything right. Now that you got a coach down there from Belichick's tree, which has instilled, and they look like a little bit like Patriots 2.0, a little with the, you know, with the way that they run things, you know, and I was sitting back looking at it. I was like, yeah, that kind of looks like, you know, a Bill Belichick ran team. I think everybody need to punt the brakes. I think Tua is going to be great. You know, we just got to allow him to, you know, uh, allow him to get it, to get it together. It, it's coming. But I think people, want him to just come out of the gate, play our quarterback ready. And, you know, and I think people forget that Patty Mahomes sat for a season. I think people forget that. I think, I think they forget I think that he sat because, forget. you know, he's he's what they set the bar at. Okay, if you're not Patrick Mahomes and you're not Lamar Jackson, right. you know, you're bust. And it seems like that's what it is, but I think the guy's going to be great. It's just going to take him a little, a little time, you know, to to get it to get it right, you know. And, but I think he's going to be all right. But yes, I do agree. The media is going hey, too I, fast. I, I mean, just you know, I watched. So we had went back and forth on some Texas, and I watched uh, uh, Trubisky come out and smoke. Chicago. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? I mean, yeah. he was just, he was on fire. Um, so, of course, everybody blasting um, the Bears organization for uh, the quarterback yeah, situation quarterback. there. Yeah. So, you got Trevor Lawrence mm-hmm. playing behind Andy Dalton. Or uh, and, Justin you know, Fields. Justin Fields. Yeah, my, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, Justin Fields. Yeah. So, of course, he came in. He looked he looked pretty good. Um, Andy Dalton was having a little rust issues. Um, you know, everybody's blasting. And it was brought up. It was brought up just like you just said. You remember Patrick Mahomes sat. And you remember Rogers sat. And, you know, and everyone was like, well, you know, that was. And they were like, why? Why? I mean, let him learn what he can from Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton was a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He's serviceable. Let the kid learn. He said they're still lacking an offensive line. Why put him in to be killed? Right. Like you know, it's the same, right. same answer. Yeah, we, yeah. But he can win today. No, he can take a beating today. Yeah. Um, and he may, you know, and I don't know. Andy Dalton. Yeah. He left he left Cincinnati mm-hmm. being a pretty good quarterback. Yes. Play playoff winning quarterback. Yeah. And then went to Dallas and just didn't have I don't know. It was kind of. It was kind. Of, you just. I don't new know. If offense, it's confidence. New coach and players. You don't know a whole new system. Dallas is America's team, so you got all the attention. You know, was it now? Cincinnati has. You know, they were pretty good. 
they were a pretty good football team when he played. Uh, yeah. I felt like the organization failed Andy Dalton. I felt like yes. Andy Dalton was a guy that could, you know, go further than he did at Cincinnati, albeit that he had to go up against Ben and the Steelers, and we'll talk about him in a little bit. But uh, here's the deal, though. The, the Cincinnati has, has had that stigma about the organization for a while. Mm-hmm. Not really trying to put together a winning team, right? You know, and then all of a sudden they get Burroughs, and now now it looks like it appears they're trying. I mean, that's what it. That's mm-hmm. definitely. Um, but you know, I think I think he can learn behind Andy Dalton. Um, yes. And I think, you know, and then the other crazy thing I know you heard it today. Everybody, the Raiders make a phone call to to Chicago saying you want Mac back. And yeah, like, they want him back now. <laughs> Why? And this was back in March. You know, we won't, yeah, can, can, can we get him back? You know, that was our pain. We didn't realize how important he was. You know, even though, you know, he was, you know, the MVP and defensive player, you know, we, yeah, didn't I don't know. To, what... uh, we didn't want to pay all that money, but now we decide that we need that money. You know, just, you know, and that goes to show don't, you know, when it comes, when it comes to uh, especially an NFL franchise where you got to win and you got to bring fans in and uh, we, you, you know, sometimes you just can't hire your buddies. Sometimes you just got to go away from what you used to and get some no people and you get some people around you that respect who you are, but also does what's in the best interest of the franchise. And I think that's, and I think it, just that story just let us know that it seems like they're throwing darts at the wall to see what happens. When yeah. you got Patrick Mahomes in your division, Justin Herbert's in your division, and you got Denver, which is they're just, once they get their quarterback right, <laughs> you know, then they're going to be a, a, a major prop. Yes, sir. They are. And, that's exactly you know, right. and you got a quarterback that's good. I think they're, they, is it Derek? Because I get them mixed up. I get David and Derek mixed up. But it's Derek oh, that's in Oakland now, right? Or Las right. Vegas. Okay. Yeah, Las Vegas. I do believe he's a good quarterback. So I, do. I just don't think his coach like. You know. I do. I, I I definitely agree with you. We're going to talk about that when we get back. We're going to pay some bills. But that's the subject. That's a whole nother subject. Hey, guys, appreciate everyone tuning in every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock. Remember, tune into the show. Learn some stuff. Right here on KM Radio. Where we go. Damn. Cam Radio, we go ham. It's your boy Tony G. Bigelow, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock. Cam Radio. Like I said before, make sure you guys tune into Cam Radio. Always 24 hours a day. Great pro, um, programming. We've got a bunch of great programs, a bunch of great music, a bunch of great DJs. So listen to us. Listen to the show. Um, getting back where we got cut off, what you said about, you know, Gruden doesn't like him. I just don't believe Gruden. And, you know, that's one of the problems. I think this happens all the time, but I think Gruden's one of the people that voices his opinion a little bit more mm-hmm. and he'll let you know who we don't like. And, and I know all coaches have people they like and they don't like, I get that. Right. Um, and, and you know, when they like, it's like anything, you hire two people, one person you praise for anything and everything. The other person you criticize mm-hmm. and you'll watch one person accelerate to the, to the moon and the other person just dwindle off. Mm-hmm. You know, it all depends on the situation. Um, but I think there's people out there would take him. I think he took a lot of abuse. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I think yes. a lot of abuse, a lot of turmoil. You know, yeah. And I think you got a celebrity yeah. coach. Yeah. You know, you kind of you know, and, and it's okay. But I think, especially in the NFL, it seems like your coach shouldn't have all this hype. And we and we talked about that in a prior show. With the Rex Ryan's, the Rob Ryan's, oh. 
the, the, yes. the big personality coaches. It doesn't yes. it doesn't really work well when your coach is the star of your fr- you know is the star of your franchise. It doesn't really work that way. You know, you're the X's and the O's. You're the management, right? You know, you let your star get the glamour and the glitz, but because of who John Gruden is, you know, he gets that. But just go ahead and say it, you know, or or try to find the quarterback that you want, you know, as opposed to just you know trying to work with him. It's obvious because how many seasons has has Gruden been there with the Derek Carr? Four. It's been four Three, seasons. Four. Yeah, about right. It's been four seasons. You know, he's had to deal with poor offensive line play. He's been hurt. After he got back on the field, they had to deal with the Antonio Brown situation. So there's always something other than football. Right. So it's like it's hard to evaluate. It's 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 hard for him to, you know, for me, if it, it seems like it's hard for him to to get stabilized, you know, when and, and, and play your game when you got um buzz in your ear about your coach really don't like you. And you know, and now they try to get back a player that could have helped your career when you was right. when you first got there, you know, because uh, you know, uh, that's what you need with a new quarterback. You need that you need a good defense. That D, yeah, you need that defensive monster. You know, it takes some strain off the takes right. strain off the offense. There ain't no no doubt. So let me ask you this: What do you think of Cam's performance? Cam played oh, was, good. I don't know. Did I, I predict? Did I predict that Cam was going? Have, I don't think I predicted it. I don't think I did. I don't think I predicted he was going to have a good. I did say he was going to play better. So yes, yeah, you Cam did say had that, a yeah. great game. Great game. It, it made it hard for me. I was like, okay, both of these guys ball, and then. Cam violates protocol of COVID protocol, and he's not going to be playing in this game. Right. It's one thing for a guy to outplay you, but it's another thing when you make it easy for him. Now, I don't know what the circumstances are. Apparently, from what I've read, you know, he was uh, away from the facility. Took a test every day. Yeah. Yeah, he was away. He he got outside of of the parameters. He traveled right. outside of the parameters of the COVID co- protocol, so he had he could play that game. That game, um, they did a presser with uh, uh, Josh McDaniels, and they talked to Belichick too. But you know, Belichick didn't give him nothing. And nothing. As, after, as far as Josh is concerned, he's like, yes, you know, Cam's our starter, but you know, it's a healthy competition. Matt Jones will learn a lot. Yeah, but I think you'll learn a lot if he sits behind. Um, well, here's the deal. Belichick's going to make the decision for whatever's best to give his team the best chance of winning. That's right. it. Ain't, ain't nothing else is going to get in his ear. It doesn't, he doesn't care. Uh, he doesn't – it doesn't matter. That's not what he's there for. Um, so that's, that's you know, kind of a good thing. Um but yeah, the, the, I mean, the Patriots are going to be tough. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and like I said, it's just <laughs> preseason, so you try not to get too, right? Too, yeah, on and on about it. Uh, the Eagles, I don't know. You know, they're they're going to have a lot of problems. You know, they, they got some so, problems. They got some problems. They got some. They went from a Super Bowl winning team, <laughs> just having problems, and it's like <laughs> I thought the Eagles had fixed their problems. You know, yes. when Carson okay. left, I was like, "Okay, Jalen's got the keys. Let's go." And now they want to play my game. You played enough psychological mind games with this kid when Wentz was there. When right. you sent Wentz packing, that automatically, you know, by default, this is the guy. Now, if somebody, right. you man. If anybody, if I got to bring some, some, uh, I got to bring a backup in here. If these guys beat you out for your position, that's on you, you know. But he's the guy. This is our start. He's the starter until he loses it. How hard is that to say? Now that's, hard, that's, it's not hard to say. He's hard. He's our starting quarterback 
as long as right. he keeps, you know, he's our starting Doing quarterback he until he until uh, proven otherwise. And you're not messing with his confidence because he knows it's his job to lose. Right. And he's going to play to the point where not, you know, but I don't know. I don't I think they're, what, they're doing this real fast. Yeah. I, I, I agree. You know, uh, what'd you think of Washington and the Bengals? Pretty, 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 pretty. It was, it was okay. I think I, Washington is going to have a good defense. Yeah, their defense is that defensive line is going to be problematic. <laughs> yeah, they sir. got some. Yes, they got some studs over there. That they defense do. is good, but you know that's that's um. God, I always do well, it. That's, that's Ron you know, Rivera's that's, old day. That's his mo. That D. Yes, and and he's a disciplinarian too. So right, if he get him a. A stable quarterback, or, or or you know, a serviceable quarterback. Serviceable quarterback. That's Service. right. He should That's be right. good to go, especially with uh, Philadelphia. You know, they their Dallas. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. Dallas. Yeah. If, if Dak is not right, they are done. They're done. There's nobody behind Dak that can, you know, keep them in the run. I don't. Think. I agree with you. The the backup they have, the little Italian guy, I like him as a backup. Yeah, yeah uh, I like him. Eddie, that, yeah, I, I, he's got a heck of an arm. Uh, he's a backup though, and, and there's right. no. I don't think he, he has dreams. I don't think he has dreams of grandeur that he's going to take Dak's spot. I think. Right. Uh, but I don't but think, I think that he's ready to fill those shoes if Dak can't play. No, no, no. He's a backup. But, and I think yeah, you know, got, I mean, like, yeah, you're right. He's a backup, but yeah. Uh, but you know, with Washington. They got the coach I think they need there. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if he can maintain the bad ownership, because yeah. that's really where it stems from, the ownership is he has, you know, Jerry Jerry Jones-itis, and he's never won a Super Bowl. He yes. wants to overpay people. It's like, what do you do? I mean, just um, – but that being said, you know, so they have the right coach. Or, yeah, I think, I think if they get a serviceable quarterback mm – -hmm. I think I, I definitely think they could be a threat, a threat in that division. I think um, could definitely, you know, and you know, you wa we watched the Jets play Green yeah. Bay, and Green Bay was, I, you know, Green Bay was just kind of, I, I ain't gonna say going through the motions. I, I think they were, they were looking for something, or they were trying to see who who was going to be cut, who ain't going to be cut, who, right. I mean, because they they didn't really put the, uh, well, they they did what they needed to do. They they played the people that needed they need to see yes. who's gonna go, who's gonna stay. It wasn't a full court press. Um, I know the Jets won 23-14, mm -hmm. and that's a great win for them, even though it's preseason. Um yeah. it's it's better than losing. Um but yeah. you know, it may have may have been, you know, beating up a uh what do they call a, a Knocking out the styrofoam champ or whatever, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind yeah. of one of those, right? One of those like, things. Yeah, Green yeah. Bay were play were. It was like a position game for them. Yeah, yeah, they were just and, trying to see what they had. Yeah. Hey, you know, and we watched, you know, watch the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the Dolphins have so much talent because of mm. all the draft choices that they have. I mean, it's it's ridiculous what they have, mm -hmm. and, and really for them, all they got to do is put it together. Put it together. Um, maintain. Yeah. Listen, yeah, you know, listen yeah. to the head coach uh, because they're a young team, young talented team. And that's what's great about them. They're young and talented. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, what was it 19 where they were like 0 and 7 and they could have just tanked the rest of the year? And yeah. then they started winning. And those and guys just, beat, yeah, just and that's when they bought play. into uh that's when they bought into the head coach. That's when they bought into right. it. Because they would not. It was like, no, we're not going undefeated. You no. We're, or winless. We're not going winless. Yeah, we're not going we are gonna. Yeah, and they beat – They beat. Uh, I think they won three games, three or four games. Um, they beat New England, upset mm -hmm. New England. I mean, they did – they were playing their hearts out. And I think that team has so much talent. Yeah. Um, so much talent. Uh, they'll be fine. They just – like I said, I think when they get too settled or with offensive – program that they're going to, you know, go with exactly. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think they'll be I think they'll be fine. Yeah. Um, and then what you know then then you had the Ravens. Yes. And Which, you know it you know it kind of looked uh, you know the Ravens kind of looked like the Ravens to me. You know, I uh, yeah yeah I yeah. I kind of want to yeah. see more from that passing game now since they got the speed. I want to see what Lamar can do with that arm. We've seen it, but yeah. you know, more throwing, more throwing than running for me. Get the first down, get out of bounds. That's that's all you have to worry about. Get the first down, get out of bounds, unless it's right. wide open and do your thing. But for the most part, <laughs> get your get your you know get your first down and get out of there, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Use your arm, you know. Well, I think you know one thing about Harbaugh is Harbaugh, um, he was testing, tuning, he was switching guys in and out. He's trying to, he's trying to figure out these these uh, these uh, you know specialty role players because there is a lot of them in the NFL. A lot of people don't realize there's a lot of specialty guys that come in for two downs, for rushing downs or passing downs, um, special team. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, there's a lot of specialty players now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's a lot of universal guys um, in the NFL that have, you know, made it in the NFL for their specialty. You know what I mean? And, and they make a good living, uh, whatever it is, third and long, that's what you do. That You're, you're the guy. You're, you're the guy we want. Right. Um, so he was definitely pulling and putting and, and, you know, trying to see where everybody fit in. Uh, and the Panthers are trying to do the same thing. They're trying to, they're trying to find. To me, they're trying to find their identity. Um, yes. I think. I mean, since I since agree. Cam left, yeah, since Cam left, I think they're trying to find their, uh, yeah, you know, their identity. Yeah. What? Ident- yeah, yeah. What type of team I, they're going to be? Because uh, because they, you know, I mean, I believe Sam can get the job done over there. Uh huh. I, I believe, but it's like picking up um, Matt Rule's offense, picking his, you know, picking his offense up, and you know, learning, learn because it's pretty much the same routine, just different um, pieces. Yeah, just different pieces and, and uh, uh, different wordplay. Yeah, you know, I agree. It, yeah, it's just what you call I, a curl or a flat or a slant or a fade right. or a straight route or a comeback. Just different terminology. Just picking up the terminology. All of the all of the throws are, are the same. It's just the terminology and you know and getting getting that down, getting the terminology down. So yeah, I def- definitely def- definitely agree with you there. Now, what about the Steelers and the Lions? Now, what'd you think? Now, I have to say. Big Ben impressed him. He looked slim. He looked he was in shape. The arm looked good. It seemed like it was coming out quicker. You right. know, you know, because he has a tendency to hold it seven, eight seconds. The yeah, ball he has a tendency. Coming out, you know. So they're gonna, you know, it, it looks like they're gonna be a problem again. Nashi Harris is he's ready. <laughs> he's ready. He don't to, to me, he don't have to play no more in the preseason. He's ready. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I agree. Being I, like, chick like, back, I believe it's what it's it's the it's I believe it'll work for Ben because now Ben can do that play action where he is where he is super dangerous. You yes. know, that play action pass. He now he's got a he can dump it all when he gets in trouble, and Najee Harris is gonna make it happen, you know. So yeah, uh I, I was impressed by Big Ben because I was hard on him last week. I was well, hard on I mean, him. He, it's, you know, I think, you know, it's part of the deal. You know, there's times it's been a little disappointing. You know, one thing about Pittsburgh is they're always well-prepared. Tomlinson always have been well-prepared. Right. And, you know, and they've been contenders. I mean, Big Ben, I'm sure Big Ben wants to win another Super Bowl. Yeah. Give him three, which would give Pittsburgh, which would give Pittsburgh seven mm-hmm. um, to separate everybody from uh, – they are, they were the only ones that had six, and then of course New England came and tied them with six. Right. Um, so yeah, I yeah they'll be they'll be ready. They'll be a contender. They're, I don't know if they got what it takes 
you know, to go all the way, win the Super Bowl, I guess a lot has to do with matchups. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing about the NFL is sometimes the, some teams match up better with other teams. It's, right. it's, you know what I mean? So, and if you, if you manage to get all your great matchups all the way through, you, you got a shot at it. You know what I'm right. saying? That's, that's, that's kind of, that's the whole thing of, that's the whole thing of, of the NFL matchups. Right. Mm -hmm. be able to match up match up that down that game to your opponent so when we get back we still got some more games to cover mm -hmm. um want to thank everyone again for tuning in every tuesday night eight o'clock we appreciate you guys man uh you guys make it possible like i said if you get a, get a chance listen to the km radio all night because it's got great programming 24 hours a day <laughs> seven days a week yes sir um would you make sure y'all yeah. tune in? Make sure y'all comment, share, in. subscribe to the channel. There you comment, go. email us, comment, let us know. You know, if you got some stuff for us, you know, if you got some smack you want to talk, or if you got some stats for your team, hit us up. Give us some comments or email hit. us. It's right here down below. Let us know. We want to. We want to know because we, you know, we don't. We're not the only two geniuses here. We we know all of y'all are geniuses too, and we need y'all genius to help us with ours. <laughs> Hit us up. All right, K Ham Radio, we go ham. Hell. K Ham Radio, we go ham. It's your boy Tony G, Big Blue, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, sports book, football season upon us, preseason. It's all. It's all shaping up. It's all shaping up. All right, we're covering all the, all the games that we had, that we watched. So what did you think about the Titans and the Buccaneers? Titans and Burton Gears, uh, it, was, it, was, it was okay game. It was okay game. I think uh, te, uh, to me, I don't want to say they have a Super Bowl hangover, but it's it, it seems like to me it's a little rust need to be knocked off maybe, but maybe that's that could be. that you know that's my opinion. It just feels you know, it seems like you, you know, especially when you when you when you achieve that goal, you kind of drop down a little. I know they don't have nothing to worry about because they got everybody back. Everybody knows the system. Everybody knows what they're supposed to do. You know, so it's you know, so you're gonna, you know, there's not so much a sense of urgency. But with Tom, it's always, you know, they're not worried about it. They like, okay, Tom got us. We're going to be good to go. I just want to see, you know, to me, you can't lose that hunger. You know, it's got to be the same every season, but it's okay. Uh, with well, the they started off slow last season, remember? Yeah. I mean, because yeah. I, I was really – I was – I mean, first four or five games, I was like, oh, man, Brady ain't – he, you know, he, you know, and then he got into his rhythm, mm -hmm. and he he accelerated. Um, I mean, yeah, the one thing that hurts the Titans is that AJ Brown is out for the season. He tore his ACL, yep. but now that they have Julio, he's probably going to be more. You know, they're going to rely lean more on Julio. You know. But uh, that that does hurt them. But uh, I think they should be they should be fine. But Carson's back, and they say he's looking good in practice. He's moving around on that foot. So you know, it's something that it's something that they're going to have to look out for because Philip Rivers, you know, Philip Rivers took him to the playoffs. And but we yeah. all know that. Phil Rivers is a good, you know, he's a great yeah. quarterback. Hall of Fame, y'all, y'all let me know in the comments with that. Yeah, I'd have to see, yeah, I'd have to um, see the stat. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm kind of like, eh, but y'all let us know in the comments about if Philip is Hall of Fame. But you know, but with Carson Wentz, if he's if that foot's good, they should be good to go. He's got a running game. Yeah. So he should be okay. He shouldn't have to, you know, scramble as much because he's got it in him too. Yeah. But he shouldn't have to do it as much because he's got a good running back, you know, behind him. So 
and they can block pretty well, good too. Right. And their defense is just lights out. So they're good yep. on the side of the ball. So the next game was the Texans and the Cowboys. I watched I watched this game. Um and, and again it was it was really a you know test and tune again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Cowboys are trying to uh Texans are trying to figure out what they're going to do, Yeah, who they are. I mean, they've lost J.J. Watt. I don't know what's going to – I don't know what's going to happen with Sean. Um, you know, I, I, you know, that's all up in the air. Mm-hmm. Um, Brand new coach down there, you know. They got – yeah, they got a lot of uh, – you know, and like I said, the Cowboys are, are trying to figure out – they're trying to figure out that defense. They're trying to make sure that the, all the, the pieces that they added um, – mm-hmm. It should be interesting. Like I said, opening yeah, day should be um, against against Tampa. Um, you know, Tampa's hard over draw. two hard draw. You know, yeah, it is. Oh, it's a hard draw. It's definitely a, you know, but hey, I mean that's part of uh, yeah, that's I mean, part of football. And you know, with Cam and he do, do you want Cam with the shoulder against Tampa Bay's D? But he's not playing. He threw fifty passes in practice, but he didn't play. Right. So it's I think like, there's a lot more to it. I think there's, I think there's, I think there's a lot more to it. I think the leg, the shoulder. I think there's some other issues. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, here's the deal. I mean, they want him to play. I'm sure he wants to play, but you pay him a lot of money. I mean, let him heal. Yeah, it'll heal because because, because if it's he gets hurt team. again, yeah, yeah, if he get if he gets hurt again, um, I don't know how it looks for them the next season. Keep everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's um, going on to the Colts and the Vikings. The Colts looks looks good. They're just trying to figure out that quarterback position. They get a quarterback. Um, and I think, I think they're a danger. I think they're, they're definitely going to be a, they're going to be a danger. Um, mm-hmm. Cause that's a well-coached team with Frank. Frank, right. Yeah. Yeah, Frank yeah. Wright. Um, Tennessee yeah. better they better get it together because the Colts are going to be on them. Yes, absolutely. I mean that's that's a tough. Um, yeah, that's a tough team. They're uh, like I said, Philip Rivers brought them to the playoffs. Um, and they were a very, uh, very, very uh, tough team. Um, the next game was the Raiders versus the Rams. Yeah. Um, Again, like I said, all these are a test and tune. I think the Raiders, you know, the Raiders are – this is what I think of the Raiders. I think the Raiders are a pretty good team. Mm-hmm. Um, and at times, they play really good. Yes. And other times, they don't. They're very they're very unpredictable. They're a team that I, I say I – like they're one of, another team that I don't like to gamble with because right. sometimes I just don't know what I'm getting. You know what I mean? It's like, Right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you shouldn't gamble with them, you should. And when you should, you shouldn't. You know what I mean? It's like right. um, they kind of – Yeah, you, you, there's no streak. Yeah, there's you know, no – there's You're opponent by 35 points one Sunday, and then you're like, all right, they got it. Yeah, and that then come back. Down and they'll lose by 24 points. Yes, to to a, a, a underdog. Yeah. That's what happens. You're like, what's going on? What? Like, yeah, what's well, – yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't like, get it. Hey, this is Jacksonville. How do y'all lose to well, yeah, well, yeah, right, right, right. But then you play New England to the final – in New England or Tampa, you'll play them to the final second or the yeah. fourth quarter. Yeah. yeah. Under wow. one point kick. A, yeah. And it's like, what, what do you, you know? Um, and that's one thing about well-coached teams. You, they play good. They don't play to their opponent. They play good. Every, you know what I mean? That's the difference. You can't just, oh, we're playing a team that hasn't won. and We'll just kind of coast. And that's just, that ain't going to get you far in the NFL. But that was, a, like I said, it was a, the game it was pretty decent. Like I said, they were uh, everybody's trying to figure out who's going to make the squad and who ain't going to make the squad. Um, the Raiders, it will be interesting. That's mm-hmm. to say the say the least. Um, now the the Broncos, the Broncos beating Seattle again. I don't try to make too much of it um, because it is preseason, but I, I think. When the Broncos Broncos find their quarterback, the exact quarterback that they ah, they're gonna be they are gonna they're gonna be a threat. There's no <laughs> doubt. There's no doubt yeah. no doubt about that they're not gonna be um they're gonna be in the box. And then I watched 
I, I watched the, the San Francisco and the Chargers, mm-hmm. you know, and everybody's I pushing. I missed it. Mm-hmm. So everybody's, 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 you know, Trey Lance, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. And, he, you know, he did look good. I can, he did look good. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Jimmy G is a really good quarterback until he gets hurt. Right. And I, again, I would, I would save Trey Lance. Jimmy G, you paid all the money. He's a good quarterback. He got you guys there a year ago, two years ago, to the Super Bowl. Got injured last year. So he's got what it takes. Mm-hmm. I would just let Trey Lance just – because I would, I would rather have – I would rather – I'm not wishing anyone to get hurt. But right. if, if Jimmy G goes down, I have faith in Trey Lance. Right. If you put Trey Lance in and Trey Lance goes down, I don't have a lot of – Faith in in Garoppolo's durability. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's yeah, like I, that's it's, his it's only re- thing. Yeah, it's in reverse. Play right. him, let him. You know, because he may, you know, he might be a game where it's like, oh, he's a little sore. Let's play Trey, mm-hmm. and then Trey comes in. He looks like a stud. Then you put him right back, put G back in there. I wouldn't put it all out, but he did look good. I mean, it yeah. was a uh, okay. Yeah, he he definitely. The kid definitely has a football presence about him. Um, he reminds me a lot of uh, um, the other quarterback for San Francisco. Um, uh, Kaepernick. Kaepernick, yeah. Has the same kind of stance, mm-hmm. similar stance. I don't want to say exactly the same. Uh, similar stance. Um, he uh, – he, has that zip on the ball? He, yeah, he had, reminds me a lot of a young cat. Yeah, um, but yeah, again, yeah. get open, put him behind, get open. Yeah, buy time for yeah. receivers to get open and we'll zip and got and, and got a. Uh, I won't say a candy, but he gets it. He gets it to him. Yeah, he can get yes. it to him. So, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. They he definitely looked. He definitely looked good. Um, mm-hmm. So they're in a good position. I think San Fran's in a good position. Yes. Hey, you might be able to groom. You might be able to groom this guy underneath Jimmy G. Mm-hmm. Let Jimmy G have a good year, and then you'll have something to trade or to sell um, to try to get your money or you know whatever. Because right. if Jimmy G can stay healthy, he's a threat. There's yes. there's no doubt about it. And there's but you know, like I said, his durability has always been a question. The other game I didn't watch a lot of was the Browns against the Giants. Right, I didn't watch a lot of that one either, but. Yeah, it was a little. It was a. It was a little bit of the game. Um, again, the Browns are in a good in a good position. Yeah, um, I think they're gonna they're gonna cause some havoc for some people. Um, mm-hmm. I I don't think that they're quite there yet. You know, no. people were telling me I was crazy a couple of years ago when they told them they were gonna win the Super Bowl and made and in his second year. I thought that was pretty. You know, I was yeah, like really. Um, yeah. yeah, a little far fetched. I was like, okay. Um, they, this is the first – if you guys remember, they're saying that, and it's like well, last year they only won six games. Right. They're saying, we, you know, most they've won in 20 years or whatever it was. Yeah. It wasn't really 20 years. But so that being said, they're in the right – they're moving in the right direction. Mm-hmm. I hope everybody can stay patient yeah. um, and stay on the, uh, the task at hand because I think they're going to be uh, – you know, it's funny. I was watching an interview with – Terry Bradshaw, mm-hmm. and you know Terry's not a big mate. Uh, he's not a he's not a big fan. Yeah, he's not he a Baker Mayfield guy. He's not a yeah. You don't I, you know he's old school though. Yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like the, he doesn't like the lift. Yeah, the you know what I'm saying. Yeah, he don't, he don't, he don't, yeah. yeah, he don't like that. Yeah, head um, down, do your job. Do your job. Show it on the field. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. On the That's podium. How, you know, yeah. Right. You, yeah, you show them by winning Super Bowls. That's how you show them. That's Terry's, yeah. you know. Um, do the and time. I didn't – and I didn't really – I didn't I didn't really like him myself. Um, he's definitely uh, grown on me uh, somewhat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do – I mean, I respect what he's doing down there. I think he's a, a – I, I think he went into a bad situation yes. in, the, in, Cle- in Cleveland. You know what's so funny about Cleveland is – Cleveland wants a winner so bad. Yes. You know what I mean? They do. They really do. They want a winner. I mean, they watch, they watch Cleveland move away and win two Super Bowls. 
Yes. Because that's really what the Ravens really are. Yeah, that's what the Ravens yeah, are. They're, you know, they're Cleveland of old. They're yeah, the old so, I mean, of Cleveland. <laughs> I mean, they were so hungry. And show you how committed they are to football. They, they, they held that name. You couldn't take that name. No. Right. You know what I mean? They were right. like, you weren't taking our, no. our name. We'll get a team. And I was like, wow, that shows yeah. a lot of grit for the you city. Can get um, everything but the name. Yeah, you can have it right. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll get another we'll, team. Yeah. And, and they uh, did, you know, and yeah, I, I, Cleveland's a good football, uh, good football town. Uh, I, you know, I enjoyed, I uh, may not be the biggest LeBron fan, but I enjoyed when, when they won the title. Yeah. You know, I you was, know, I mean, I was, that was, I was rooting for them too. Oh man, it was like they needed it. I felt like the, yeah. the city of Cleveland needed it, regardless if yes. it, you know, regardless if it was basketball, but still, you know, they needed a championship there. Yeah. And they got it. Yeah, that was that was really cool. I think that's you know, that's one thing that's great about sports. I say this all the time. I said sports and cars bring people together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because when people start talking about sports or they start talking about cars, or they see a car, no matter who they are. What background? It brings out a memory. Yes. Like, oh man, my you know my aunt used to have a car like that, and mm-hmm. my grandmother had. You know, I mean, it just brings up, and that's the same with sports. When yes. you see people talking about sports, and they have a passion, um, and they, you know, I mean, and they just, especially, and I'm not trying to be, especially a lot of cities that have never won one. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're yeah. they're definitely a humble, uh, uh, they're a little humbler. Um, mm-hmm. I, you know. But, you know, one thing that I've learned is everything comes in – sports and life are so much alike. Everything comes in seasons, and seasons end. And we've learned that, you know, San Fran had a, had a season, mm-hmm. and, then the, and, then they, and, then, and then they stunk for a while. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Same thing with Dallas. Same thing with Dallas. They had their season, uh, late 80s, early 90s. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I'm not saying they just then. They, then all of a sudden, they became not not irrelevant. It's very hard to keep relevancy. I mean, and New England's done it for 20 years, mm-hmm. um, and it's hard. You know, I mean, it takes a lot of moving parts to yes. maintain all these players, and you know, and contracts, and and and, and trying to be relevant. Um, but I think, you know, that and that's the great thing about sports is you know it brings people together. Um, definitely, definitely so, man. Like I said, I, I think we're I think we're in for a heck of a football season. Oh yeah, uh, I think I really, you know, I, I would say we're gonna talk. So Tom Brady made a comment. He said he wants to have a he wants this to be his best year ever. Hmm. All I can say was, does he do you win two Super Bowls in one year? Is it how it gets better? I don't. I'm trying to understand <laughs> how you have a better year. I was like, wow, okay, man. better. Well, my Mindset. <laughs> mindset. That's enough. right. Yeah, mindset. Mind, never, mindset. No. Never. Winning mindset. Winning yeah. mindset. But you know, and that's one thing about, and like I said, neither one of us are New England fans. Neither one of us. Yeah. But one thing that we both have much respect for is the formula. Yes. Yeah. And you can't, I mean, if you can't respect that formula, then you have no respect for anything. You I mean, have, exactly. That, at, at some point, you have to admit that that's like, oh, that's a pretty, you know, because one thing I like about Belichick to be like, so what are you thinking about uh, on the Cleveland next week? Uh, but what do you think uh, on the Cleveland or whatever they're going on the Buffalo? That's mm-hmm. it. He has no more. That's over. Now we're working on. And it's yeah. always him and Tom had the same thing. I don't care if they won 100, 100 to nothing. There's some areas that we need to work on. Right. We need to be a little more prepared. And you're just looking at them going, Oh, okay. Uh, just, won by, yeah. just won by 35 points. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that we also got 15 penalties. That's right. But, you know, that's, and that's something that we all can learn from. Right. Anytime you think you got it, always room for us to improve. And so that's something I try to take life lessons, you know, as we get older, mm-hmm. kind of try to take life lessons. Um, so and that's one thing that I try to do. I'm not – Mary J. Bly said it once, said it one time, and I'll never forget it. I'm not a great person. I'm a work in progress. That being said, I'm a work in progress. That's what we are, Lou. A work Absolutely. in progress. So as yeah. long as we know that and we're working on it, that's all that matters. Hey guys, KM Radio, we love you guys. Thanks for tuning in every Tuesday night. Me and Big Lou, KM Radio, where we go and. Hey.